It's been seven months since the civil war broke out between the U.S. government and Western forces led by Texas and California with no resolution in sight. The economy is in freefall, inflation is skyrocketing, and supply chains are disrupted, leaving essentials out of reach for many Americans. Chaos and lawlessness reign in cities across the country. With law enforcement overwhelmed, many areas have descended into anarchy, and the federal lockdowns have done little to restore order. Meanwhile, a severe shortage of supplies, including food, medicine and fuel, has pushed citizens to desperate measures. And with the holiday season just around the corner, peace is yet to be achieved. A24 films often feature striking cinematography, inventive shot selections, and also a meticulous attention to visual style. But what really strikes me when it comes to A24 films is the way they use RGB lights and how they use colors to evoke emotions. So when Zhiyun sent me their CinePure CF100 RGB light, I got this idea to make my own spin-off of the Civil War movie. So let's talk about this Zion Cine Percy F100 um, RGB light stick first. So this is a 100 watt RGB light, has a normal Kelvin mode, RGB mode, some unique lighting effect, and a dedicated max performance button. It has six cooling fans to prevent it from overheating. With its built-in battery and rubber grip, paired with its lightweight design, portability is not an issue. It comes with barn doors, diffusers, and a carrying bag. So if you want to check this light, I have the links in the description along with the discount codes. And thank you Zion for sending me the Cine Piercy F100 RGB light stick that it helped me create this short story. So, what is the story? So as I said, the story is inspired by the Civil War movie from 824 where the government, the US government, and the state of Texas and California was fighting for power. So our story started at the living room of the main character where he sat and watched the news on the TV where we find out the background of the story. His lack of reaction tells us that this situation has been going on long enough that he already used to it. We also learned that it is also a holiday season already because of the decoration in the Christmas tree. Then there was an explosion prompting our character to leave the scene. And then we saw the aerial view of the neighborhood where a house is burning and then we cut straight to the main character leaving the room that was supposed to be burning that we saw the smoke coming out and then he went straight to 
the toilet and relieves himself. This reinforces the idea of he's been through a lot already that this kind of things is normal to him. And by the time he finished, he realized that he doesn't have a tissue paper, leaving him no choice but to use his own socks. And then I chose to use a Dutch angle shot to make it really clear of his uneasiness, signifying his own little problems in contrast of the whole situation, followed by the scene in the kitchen where we found out that he was running out of food. Even the food left are all expired. Then the bottled water gave us a hint that he is pro-Texas. The next and final scene made it clear that he is part of the movement where he was trying to send a message from a machine which is actually a sewing machine. <laughs> and at the end, he was found by the authorities. And that's the end of the story. So here's the behind the scenes on how I got the shots and also where I put these lights to uh, create that mood and where I positioned the camera. So um, enjoy. So for my opening scene, I'm in a living room. Then I'm using practical lights and also the Zhiyun Cinepure CF100 uh, wand light. And then I'm placing this one um, besides the TV. So this is set to 2700K at 20%. So I will put this here just shooting straight to the couch and then there's another one here this one is set to again 2700k and this one is at 50 percent and also i put blanket on the window because it's daytime and i want to block all the sunlight coming from the window i also turned on this lamp as my practical and also the christmas tree with um, christmas lights and then another light that I will um, turn on later is this one. Um, the lights for the, the dining table. So let's turn off the lights. So this is how it looks like for the opening shot. So again, the CF100 at 50%. That one is at 20%. And then Christmas tree as my practical and also a lamp and there's another one here there's a lamp also and i also lit this candle for my practical as well so this is how i got the first or the opening shot so for this next shot i will place the cf100 um right about at the side of the couch with the barn doors so i can direct the light to the subject and then this one I will just move here exactly at the opposite side of the other CF100 and then I will place the subject on his original position so here's the shot. So right after the aerial shots where you saw the house burning, um, to make the scene seamless I will create an illusion that this part of the house is burning so I will use a smoke machine like this to create a smoke inside um, the closet to make it like there's a fire inside the closet and I also set one of the CF100 at the floor and I put it in FX mode where it simulates like a fire and it, it changes brightness randomly hopefully with this light and this smoke machine uh, we can create an illusion of fire and then i also set the other cf100 on a c stand and it is set to a teal color which will be a complement to that light so for the final scene i'm still using the cf100 light one and it's on a c stand and it's in teal color um, it's right above me so it creates this kind of top lighting and then there's a practical light here in warm color which contrasts the teal color of the cf100 and then the other cf100 is at the top of this machine funny thing is that 
this is a sewing machine so I thought it will be a good props make it like a communication machine it has this kind of old school digital display and also when you press it it makes a sound like this and I also use this headset to sell that this is a communication machine and then there is another light outside that I use for uh, a police car light effect and it's controlled via my phone and that's a Molus X60 from Zhiyun as well so if I turn it on it will produce like a police car effect so I hope you enjoyed this little short film that I made using these light sticks and also the inspiration coming from an A24 film. If you enjoyed the film and this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And for those of you again who want to check these lights, I have the link in the description, also the discount codes. And thanks again Ziyun for sending me this light. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.